All right, well, today we're gonna start Thanksgiving a little bit early. We're gonna go ahead and put a turkey on the smoker. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and wash it off real good and get all the innards out. All right, so our turkey's, our turkey's still a little bit frozen. We laid out all night. But apparently it wasn't quite enough. So I'm gonna put a little bit of lukewarm water in here and roll them around on it and get them thawed out. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out the bag of goodies. I'm gonna make sure you get that out. Rinse everything out real good. Kind of just make sure they got it good and clean whenever they processed it. So, all right, so it's freezing cold this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this smoker up a little bit early. So cut it on I'm gonna go ahead and set it to I think I'm gonna put it up about 235 and that way you get done just a touch quicker but it's still gonna be a good slow cook and it's probably gonna take about seven hours so we're gonna set the time for about nine so it won't cut off and this one does have Bluetooth but for some reason whenever I got my new phone because I went swimming with my other one I cannot get the Bluetooth to work so that was really handy but maybe one day i'll figure out how to get it to work but i'm just gonna let it keep warming and the turkey's still thawing out a little bit so hopefully it'll be all the way thawed here shortly so the turkey's finally thawed out mm -hmm. go ahead and get the neck out here save that for later all right so got it all rinsed out and then i took some paper towels and patted it dry Now we're gonna take some olive oil. We're gonna give it a good coat and rub it down. That way the skin will crisp up a little bit better. All right, we got it good and coated in olive oil. Now we're gonna sprinkle some onion powder, garlic powder, and Texas peat dust. That stuff is really good. I don't know if anybody's ever tried it. It's kind of hard to find. They don't sell it everywhere. Man, it's good. Make sure you get quite a bit inside as well. make sure I get good and coated all over the turkey and I'm also going to use some smoked paprika flip it over and I'm going to do the back side too now I'm going to get a good coating of spice all over it some good flavor. I think I got this at the Lowe's food. I believe where I found it. And my dad had some and I tried it and really liked it. So. Yeah, it took this thing a lot longer to thaw out than I presume. It set out for about 13 hours. And it's still up to the beginning of the fall. So I put your turkey in the refrigerator for probably two or three days before you wanted to smoke it or I'd leave it out for about 17 or 18 hours, probably maybe even 20 hours. All right, we got it all seasoned up. Now we're gonna go put it on the smoker. And now I've got my grill rack set where they're pretty far apart. I'm kind of tuck these wings in there. Right on there, I had to separate my racks a little bit because this thing's so big. But man, it looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and close this up, add some wood to the firebox, and check it in about an hour or two. Just keep adding wood probably every 45 minutes or so. All right, now I'm gonna take some disinfectant wipes and I'm gonna literally wipe down everything. I'm even gonna wipe down the bottles that I was using, spice bottles, just to make sure there's no salmonella or anything that could possibly get anybody sick. All right, I've got some hickory wood chips here. I'm just gonna add some 
kind of as needed. I'm gonna just keep it smoking. And I used to soak my wood chips, but I don't know if the smoker doesn't get enough airflow. But it seems to smoke and do a lot better when I'm dry. So we're just gonna use them dry. And you could do a mix of some soaked and water or apple juice ones. But I think that works best for this smoker. All right, it's been about an hour. So I'm gonna just kind of peek in here and see how things are looking. Looking good. I don't want to open it too much. I want to keep as much of the heat in as I can. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some more wood chips. And this one will last about 45 minutes of an hour. So I want to get, get a good smoky flavor. And I'm going to let it probably smoke for probably three hours. I'll let it smoke for three hours. And that will give a real good smoky flavor. And then after that, I'm just going to let it cook. So... I don't want it to get too awful smoky because it'll be just a little overpowering on turkey because it absorbs the smoke pretty good. So we'll check it in another hour or so. All right, it's been about three hours. So we're gonna open this thing up. Mm, it's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my meat probe here into the breast. And put it in the thickest part and uh, keep it away from any bones. And we're gonna check and see where we're at three hours three hours and we're setting at i hope you can see that 150 degrees so we've got 15 more degrees to go to get to 165 so that'll probably take another hour so right now the smoker's down a little bit because i'll just open the door but i might pop i think i'm gonna take the temp up to about 150 degrees so we've got a good three hour slow cook on it and i'm gonna crank it up just a little bit to get that extra 15 degrees and get it good and done and we're gonna pull it off let it cool for about 30 minutes before we slice it all right so it's been about four and a half hours and we're sitting at 159 degrees and it's not quite done yet and i'm getting ready to go hunting so i'm gonna take it out put it in a pan and put it in the oven at 250 for probably another hour and my wife's going to keep an eye on it while I'm going hunting so oh, it'll be a little bit easier for her to get in and out whenever it's done so let's see what she looks like oh smoky oh yeah it is looking beautiful and we're right at 106 we only need five more degrees so we're gonna put it in the oven in the house and it shouldn't take but another I don't know, take an hour, maybe 45 minutes. My goodness, that looks good. It's almost done. We're gonna stick it in the oven in the house and the wife's gonna keep an eye on it. And when I get back from hunting, we're gonna give it a try. Alright, so I went ahead and set the oven for about 240 degrees. We're gonna let it set. She's gonna keep an eye on it until it gets up to 165. And we're going to take it out and cover it in aluminum foil and let it cool down. All right, I just got back from the hunting trip and turkey is wonderful. My wife got it out just in time. She kept an eye on the temperature. That side looks just beautiful. But <laughs> I got back a little bit after dinner time. So we're going to give it a try here. It looks good, good and moist, not dried out. Perfect turkey. Got a good smoke flavor. Really, really good. And now I'm going to show you my favorite way to eat turkey. All right, so my favorite way to eat turkey is a sandwich. So I'm going to take some mayonnaise. I normally use ranch, but somehow we ran out of ranch and I didn't know about it. So I'm just going to use some mayonnaise. Put a little bit of mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. And it's much better with ranch. But unfortunately, somehow we don't have any. But this isn't going to be just as good. Because the turkey is what really makes it. And now I'm going to take some cranberry sauce. Put on there. And now, some turkey. And this is absolutely my favorite way to eat it. 
but with the ranch. And there you go. Turkey cranberry, supposed to be ranch sandwich. Mm. That's so good. Can't be beef. So. Definitely my favorite way. But stuffing and cranberry sauce is just as good. But that's a good quick meal and you can eat on that for a long time. You make a lot of turkey sandwiches out of a turkey. So I appreciate you watching. I hope you'll try it out. Have a good smoked turkey for Thanksgiving. Hope you'll subscribe. Bye. Now option B, a smoked turkey salad.